Hey Aquarius, so this reading is going to be for you. It's going to be like a, a monthly reading, and I'm just going to be doing a Celtic cross, but it's going to be a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, as always. And also, as always, if your sun sign doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your other personal placements, your moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and... I think that's my intro, so let's just go ahead and get started. Move this. Okay, so I think there's a lot of hesitation right now about um, where you want to be, where you want to go. Right now, you're not really moving forward, and I think it's because there's a little bit of a fear of like competition with that Five of Swords. There's a little bit of, or Five of Wands, not Five of Swords. There's a little bit of... Fear of competition there, either that or you don't want to compete, or you have all these competing things that you want to do, that you want to pursue, and it's just like, you just want to be successful, right? You just want to be successful in whatever you're doing, but it, it's like everything has to be perfect, this need for perfection is holding you back because, like, if you aren't sure you're not going to win, why even compete? It needs to not even be a competition. It needs to just be a flawless victory. It's kind of how that feels. Um, so I kind of wanted to get what is this about, right? And we have the Judgment card, Eight of Coins, and the Strength card. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Capricorn... Uh, Scorpio, Leo, could have those in your chart. I just kind of see this. You may be considering um, giving after seeing a new perspective in an old situation, you may be considering giving it another chance. Resurrecting something. Now, this could be work-related with the, all the coin energy. This could be a relationship but it kind of feels like you want to put, it's like you want to put effort towards whatever this is. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be relationship or something from the past. Judgment can just be a little bit of a resurrection. Um, but this could be like a final decision to start moving forward. But when I saw the strength card, I did get a little bit of a hint of like a situation that wasn't handled very gracefully. And that may be why you want to try again. Because like the challenges that were a part of the situation may have been handled very poorly. It's... I do feel like you can see this from another perspective now. And it does feel like there's a little bit of maturity or maybe wisdom that you have come into. Like, that may help the situation. Either that or a realiz realization that could just help you move forward into a new one. Right? Um... But it does kind of feel like there's this energy of you're just trying to make the call and just do it, regardless of its of its if it's a resurrection or if it's something new, and just trying to finally put your foot uh, foot forward. Um, I think you're trying to avoid the fear of this competition. I think that is getting a little bit in the way. So let's get some more cards. So it could be dealing with Virgo or an air sign. Don't have to be, but it's interesting because of past energy. We do have the page of swords, and it does kind of have that whole um, you didn't want to talk about anything new. Kind of like what we were saying here until you just knew it was perfect. So anything you had going on, maybe you just kept the secret, right? Or you didn't really want to say anything until you knew you'd win. Or it kind of feels like also with this, the judgment card being kind of out here being a clarifier. Like, you wouldn't talk about 
what you were processing until you've completely made up your mind. And once you've made up your mind and you made your decision, that's when you would talk about it. And maybe that works for you. Um, it does just kind of feel like that's past energy. It, mm, boop. it does kind of feel like if you're making up your own mind, if this involves, with this type of energy, like, I would just question if it ever involves somebody else. Like, do you know everything you need to know about that situation? Is there anything that you're missing with the lack of communication? Because you're not talking about any issues or um, or anything. Any issues, any problems, or any hopes, any desires that until you've completely made up your mind. Like, either side of the fence. So, with the Hermit Reverse, I think you want to become someone who takes more action. It kind of feels like you want to be able to shine the light on the situation a little more and not isolate yourself so much. I think maybe you're looking for a place that can be safe that you can actually share these ideas with. Maybe that was part of the problem. Um, you didn't really feel safe enough to share. Hmm. King of Pentacles came out. I was going to leave it alone, but because didn't really have the next step in mind yet. But when we were talking about the Hermit, the King of Pentacles can sometimes be the person who... Just that one part of it kind of sticks out to me, and I think I'll put it back, but it also has Virgo energy, which is fun. But um, where they're the person that people will go to for advice, and they give willingly, but at the same time, if they're ever in someone else's debt, they pay back as soon as they can. Like, they don't like being in anyone else's debt. They, um, it, it kind of has the energy of they like being in the position to help other people and not the other way around. They don't, they don't want to be owed or to owe anyone a thing. But if asked, they will always lend a hand type of thing. And they're very respectable in their community type of vibe. So, like, I don't think I'm going line for line exactly what this is. But that kind of makes me wonder if your pride's getting in the way or maybe a little bit of ego getting in the way of you asking for help whenever you need it. And maybe that's something you're trying to change. But that felt like that needed to come out. Mm, okay. Let's get a few more cards. I was actually going to try to get more cards lined up, but I don't want to forget what I felt when I was looking at the death card for you in your future. So it could be dealing with Scorpio. It don't have to be. But... Um... It just kind of feels like this death card is kind of a release of what's been holding you back more than, like, a new event. Like, a new loss or a new transformation. I mean, I guess in a way it's a new transformation, but it feels like finally being able to let go of what's currently holding you back. And I think it's in that hangman what's led, holding you back in that hangman position. I was like, somehow I think you're going to be successful at that. And then I looked up that hermit and I'm like, maybe just trying and 
putting forth some sort of action coming out of your isolation. Or maybe it's just through therapy. The hangman or the hermit's my uh, therapy card, right? So let's see. What's your approach right now? I don't. I wasn't completely thinking about your approach. No, no, that makes sense. Yeah. It felt off, but then it didn't. Because I don't think the star, like, thinking about how the star is an Aquarius card makes sense in this position to me. I think right now you're so focused on yourself in whatever way that is for you. You're focused on your growth. You're focused on making sure you have a good time. You're just... You're focused on being in the moments or in the situations where you want to be. You're focused on accepting yourself. You're focused on making your life better, basically. And I think you're putting a lot of effort into yourself. In your external environment. It's funny, this card came out earlier and I just didn't feel... Like it was ready yet. So I put it back. So I guess it needs to come out. In your external environment, there may be a lot of people that go, that really aren't cheering on. This came out reverse twice. So I'm going to assume that they're not cheering on your independent vibes, your independent energy here. You're trying to make sure that you're good. Maybe it's because they don't feel needed. Maybe it's because they're scared they don't see you enough. Like, kind of feels like a parent trying to control you or dismiss your mental health, looking at that hermit. Um... And that could just be how the energy feels to me. Maybe it's not exactly what your situation is, but that's kind of what I'm getting. So the chariot kind of popped out for a second, but we're going to go to your hopes and fears. Oops. Okay, I guess I'm taking that card. Hold on a sec. Who the hopes and fears? Your focus right now is just... Like I said, it's on you. It's on doing whatever you want to do, what brings you passion, what brings you excitement. And I think the fear that can come from that is that you're worried about um, blazing a trail that no one else is going to follow, right? Like, I think you're good being alone. It's just like, you don't actually want to be alone. You want to find like-minded in individuals, people that you want to be around. It's it's kind of got the vibe of like, okay, being alone is better than being around certain people, but what if I could actually find like my community, my friends, my whatever, you know what I mean? So on the outcome, I think you are going to find your fulfillment here. I think you are going to find your bliss. I think you will find what you're looking for here. And honestly, I don't really feel like getting out um, advice because I feel like you just need to keep doing you. Keep self-reflecting. Keep doing what you need to do. Maybe just take a little more action with that hermit reverse, but that seems to be your goal. So this kind of feels like a reassurance type of reading more than anything else. I don't think I... Spoke on the last couple of cards, signs-wise. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, maybe a water sign, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you don't have to be. But I think that's going to be it. So hopefully this reading helped, and you guys have a great day.